Hi everybody, exciting day today because the boys are getting haircuts, like real legit haircuts. It's gonna be Wesley's first real haircut. Flynn has had a real haircut before, Wesley has not. And I'm a little nervous, I don't know how Wesley's gonna respond to it. He's not very good with new people, like he's really shy and timid and like, I don't know, I'm a little nervous about it, but I feel like it's gonna be exciting regardless. Flynn's first time getting his first haircut was, <gasps> He cried a lot, he was not happy, so I'm assuming it's gonna be similar to that, but that's okay, I'll be right there holding his hand, and then after that, we're all going to a music class, so I'm very excited, it's a fun day. No, we're no, here, no, no, no. yes. So as expected, Wesley had a hard time, but he did it. It looks great, and now it's Flynn's turn. Looking good, dude. Can you smile for me so I can see before? Cutie. There we go. Do you hear she said, how old are you? Four, 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 four. Look how handsome you are in your hair. I love it! You look so good, dude. Okay, haircuts, as expected, were terrifying. I usually give them haircuts at home, but we wanted them to have like professional ones because I don't know what I'm doing. So we had them give real ones. Now we're at a park waiting for music class to start and they're playing soccer. And yeah, we're just hanging out waiting for music class to start. Never been to a music class before with twins, so I'm excited. Hi, Maisie. Yeah. Whoa, Wesley, what'd you find? Daddy. He's a bunny. Uh -huh. Hop, hop. Hi, Maisie. Oh. Hop, hop, hop. Bunny. A bunny, yeah. Uh -huh. Hop, hop. Oh my gosh, you guys, music class was so fun. It was so fun to watch the kids all have completely different reactions to it. Wesley loved it, was engaged, had so much fun, like couldn't sit still, wanted to be a part of everything. Maisie was like really serious about it. She loved it and participated, but it was like very serious. And Flynn just like, was like just having a ball. Like it was so freaking fun. Oh my gosh, you guys, Wesley took his first steps. He took his first freaking steps. Like I couldn't believe it. He was like so excited to like see all the other kids. He like just stood up and we were all just like looking at him like, what the heck? And then he just like took a step. I mean, he didn't take like multiple steps, but he took one step. I'm so proud of him. So we're gonna practice and see if we can get more steps going. Kisses? Did he steal that from you? 
say share, Wessie. You need to share. Sharing. Good sharing, Maisie. <laughs> yeah, good sharing. Yeah. Yes, Wesley, yeah. Amazing. Mm -hmm. You giving kisses? Mm -hmm. wow. Thank you. Wow. I like your shoes. Pretty girl. Lovely shoes. Are those cozy? Do you like your shoes? Shoes. More shoes. More shoes? Job, yeah, she's putting on shoes. Shoes. Wow. Oh, wow. Look at you. Yeah. Now you both have a shoe. Yeah. Wow. More? Okay. Wow. How am I supposed to get anything done in life when my kids are that freaking cute? Are you kidding me? I'm obsessed with them. Anyway, I'm about to go try to capture the chickens because the chickens are going to be transferring to their coop very soon. They just need to get all their feathers, they need to be a certain age, and the weather needs to be nice enough. But it's gonna happen very, 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 very soon. We're just trying to get them used to their coop and used to being outside, so we always take them outside for a little bit every single day. So they are in their coop right now, and I have to catch them, which is not gonna be the easiest task, but we're gonna try. So we still have work to do on the coop, but it's getting there. We have to get the right kind of stuff for the bottom and we have to like reinforce a few things. Hey guys, what you doing? Can I please pick you up? Okay, I've got to try to catch these little guys. Hey guys. Okay. Okay, let's go. There's applesauce and pink. There's pink. Hi, sweetie. Applesauce, my best friend. They love it in here, but it's not ready for them and they're not big enough yet. So, sorry guys, we got to go back in the house. Oh gosh. Up we go, we're back. Oh, Wesley. Wesley, yeah. Oh, okay, we're done. <gasps> Come here, Wesley. Come here. Hey, hey, you. Step in there. Oh, Macy wasn't in this way. You just took a step. Come here, Wesley. I think he can do it, he just doesn't want to. Can I see him? Walk, walk, walk. Oh, is he? How'd you do it? There you go. Whoa, too close. Break it apart for me. Can you break it apart for me? Exactly. Let's see if we can get Maisie to do it. Maisie, can you help me? I need to go, but I can't do it. Can you get it for me? Good job, Maisie. Come here. Good job. I don't know, guys. You did it. Yeah, thank you. He took his first step. He's not walking, but it's he's close, man. I think Wes is really close. Maisie's not quite there yet, but Wes is really, really close. What do you think, Flynn? I think Wes will be walking by Easter. Blue. Blue. Oh, yeah. You know what? It's time for Tortilla Talk with Colleen. I was reading some of the comments and um, you guys asked a lot of great questions and there's a lot of great comments, so I was gonna read some of them. That boards you could buy if it doesn't, hello, hey girlies. I started reading this and I stopped, I had to stop, but I wanted to read it on here, so I'm gonna read the whole thing now. All liver, two, four, three, nine. I'm sure I'm saying Ali liver. Anyway, they said, you helped me through losing my twin pregnancy. It was when you were pregnant with your twins too, so it really felt like we were going through it together and talking about how awful it is to be pregnant. It is so nice to be able to watch your twins grow up when mine didn't. Sorry if that's dark. It really does brighten my day every time I see them learn something new and express their little personalities. Thank you for helping me through the worst time of my life. You to bomb. P.S. When I told my mom what you named your twins, she loved it so much she named our girl Kitten Maisie. I always thought it was the funniest thing in the world. I wish I could give you a huge hug. That comment like struck me so deep and I'm so grateful to you for being vulnerable and open and telling me that. I can't even begin to imagine what that was like and has been like for you. There's no words like to say in, um, about a situation like that other than like, wow, that is, that really sucks. That's like the, 
the worst, most heartbreaking thing. Like, I'm so sorry. That is so unfair. And I'm so sorry. And I just, I, um, I don't have anything to say in particular. I just wanted to say that, like, you're amazing and you're so strong and I am just in awe of you. And I would love to see a picture of your kitten. Anyway, I just wanted to say I love you. Okay. I've seen this one a lot, so I'm just going to answer it. Twitchita question. Seeing Wesley in Moose's bed in the fruit roll-up vlog. This is a long time ago. Makes me wonder, do the kids have a favorite pet? Like, when they connect with the most. I would assume Maisie is Gus or Daisy, but I'm curious as to what it actually is. I mean, obviously Moose is Corey's dog, but Moose is a fan favorite. Like, Moose is genuinely, like, the best dog in the world. And so everyone really, really loves Moose. All the kids love Moose so much. I don't know that they have a favorite. I feel like I could ask Flynn maybe tomorrow who his favorite is. I don't even think I have a favorite. Like, I do love Moose, obviously, so much. Like, he's a magical dog, but, like, my cats are so... Oh, I love my cats so much, and I love them in such different ways. And I think that, like, that's how the kids feel about the pets, too. I think they love them all for different reasons. Like, Gus provides laughter in our home because he's such a character. He's so hilarious and just such a grump. He's just funny. And so everyone loves Gus, but, like, Daisy's so cuddly and sweet, and she's really good with kids. I've never seen a cat like this. Like, I've never seen a cat um, let babies basically crawl all over her and pet her and kiss her and cuddle her. Like, she and she loves it. She purrs. And she's been like, she was like that with Flynn, and she's like that with the twins. She genuinely loves any cuddles, kisses, and pets, even through the babies, like learning how to be gentle. Like she's so patient and wonderful. So I think Maisie would probably say Daisy's her favorite. Wesley loves Daisy too. But see, then Maisie and Wesley both love Moose so much. They love Gus, but I don't let Gus play with them too close. Like he's not gonna purr when they cuddle the him. You know, he's gonna be like, ugh, and walk away. So I'm just, you know, they don't like interact very much, but they love Gus. They always talk about Gus when they see him, talk to him, you know, whatever. I don't know. I feel like this is a really hard decision. I feel like, I feel like if I had to say Flynn would pick Moose, Wesley would pick Daisy, and Maisie would probably pick Daisy. I don't know. I'll, I'll have to ask Flynn tomorrow. Okay, so Tia Talk question. Do you have any vocal exercises that you do to prep before a show? Do you practice on your days off? I practice on my days off in the sense that like I plan and adjust and change things about the show, but I don't like physically and vocally sing anything unless it's as me. And I don't sing a lot as me in the show because I'm insecure. So yeah, I don't really practice too much as me or like my voice, my vocal stuff, but I do kind of like warm up my voice a little bit before shows. I like to sing along to like my favorite music, to my favorite albums, but also if I'm feeling hoarse. I mean, I can't really show you right now because I have no voice. I like really gentle warm-ups because essentially I do the show as Miranda and then I switch and do the sh and do the second half of the show as me. And so by the time I do me, I've already done half the show as Miranda. And Miranda's very measly, like I don't like knees. And so it's actually kind of a good warm-up because I don't kind of my range is turned. So it's almost like, it sounds weird, but it's almost like a warm-up for the me portion of the show because like some warm-ups that I really like to do for me in general are like, mm -hmm. it sounds so bad because like I'm obviously can't, I have laryngitis, so I cannot make sound right now, but like, like really gentle, like, mm -hmm like kind of humming sounds. Doesn't sound like that. I'll have to do it when I'm not ill. And the fact that Miranda's kind of higher and everything I see is up here. It's like very forward and it's kind of like a good warm up. Obviously the singing of Miranda is not a good warm up, but the talking of Miranda actually puts my voice in a good place. So I feel like I'm kind of warmed up by the time I get to the me of it all. Yeah, but I could go into detail on that another time when I actually have a voice. Okay, that's all I'm gonna do for tonight. I have a lot to do, so I'm gonna call it a night and go get some work done and go to bed. But yeah, I love you guys. Thanks for watching. It was very exciting weekend this weekend. I'm very nervous about tomorrow. I'm getting my throat checked out to see what's going on. And I'm actually starting to get like very paranoid. My anxiety is taking over my brain and making up things um, of how horrible it's gonna be. Anyway, I'm really nervous about it. I'm really hoping it's nothing serious. I'm sure it's not. 99% sure that it's just like laryngitis and I'm probably just gonna have to go vocal rest or get some medicine. But like that 1% is like, oh, what if it's something bad? That's tomorrow, so I'm excited for that. And then this weekend is my sister-in-law's birthday. And it's also Easter. And then my sister Rachel, her birthday was was two days ago, so I get to see her this weekend. So it's just like a lot of birthdays and Easter and fun. So there's a lot to be filmed. There's a lot to be seen. There's a lot to be had. There's a lot of just happiness to experience. So um, I'm excited for this weekend, but I love you guys. Thank you for watching and I will see you very soon. Okay, bye.